Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. It is wet, cold, very dreary outside right now on this early spring day here in Wisconsin. And so today, today we are going to tackle a piece I've wanted to do for a very long time. And I think it's gonna give us a little boost of sunshine. To another tutorial so glad to have you here today we are going to play with a vintage frog I, I didn't make the name and hopefully I've got it right <laughs> otherwise someone will let me know in the comments and I have this base but what goes on that base is this lovely glass top what is this called a cloche a cloak not a cloak I think it's cloche I know how to spell it I don't know how to say it but anywho, we're gonna make a lovely arrangement inside of this. It's gonna be a challenge, but I'm super stinking excited about it. We'll also share some new flowers that we have that um, by the time this goes live, will be on the website. So that's exciting as well. And then we'll just play with some other lovely spring flowers. All right, well, let's jump into it. For this tutorial, you're going to need, well, you don't need a frog, but I've always wanted to play with this, so it's gonna be a ton of fun. This I got from a vintage shop, but you can also use floral foam or a little bit of chicken wire kind of balled up, and we're gonna adhere it to our cloche, cloak, the thing with a glass dome. We're also going to need some greenery and filler. A lot of this was found just at local craft stores and Target. Got that at Target. You never know where you're gonna find beautiful greenery. But we're also gonna play with Italian Ruscus, which you can find at oyourlovely.com. We're also gonna play with a few of the new things that we got. Oh, let me show you one that's not dyed. Just got these lovely guys in, and as I'm filming this, they haven't even been named, so I can't even tell you what they're called yet. But I took one and I just lightly put some paint on the edges and then sprayed it down to kind of trickle it down. So super easy to dye. And then we also have some new paper flowers in stock. We carried these last year, we love them so much, and so we brought them back in a different couple new forms or styles. And so we're gonna put this one in there too, I think, I hope. We'll also need a little bit of moss. I am gonna use the sheet moss in little groupings to kind of put around our vintage frog to hide some of that. And then of course, so with flowers to your liking. Most of these are not stemmed up yet because I don't know how long I want them to be. So there's everything. Let's get to crafting. For this piece, I do not want it to be permanent. So, but I do want to have some stability in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of vinyl tape and we're just gonna do like little, what would you call these? Like little loops of tape. You know, like you do for, what do you do? To just hold something together. I don't even know. When have I done this last? I feel like I haven't done this in ages. So much so that I can't even do it. What the heck is going on with my fingers? You could also use some like U-glue glue dots, which I have some. Don't know where they are. I think that might've just been thunder too. But I don't wanna glue this with permanent of any sort because I wanna be able to take this off at a later date. Also, same thing with the moss. We're just gonna lay it in. We're not gonna glue it in or anything like that because we wanna be able to take this piece apart at some point if we want, when we know when we wanna change everything up or use our whatever glass dome, if what it technically is called, when we wanna use that for something else at a later date. So, but I am gonna cover my base right now I might regret that, I'm not sure, we'll see. But I'm not really gonna put a lot of things as far as like greenery and flowers down at that bottom. So I'm putting, kind of squishing my moss in there a little bit. And then we'll probably, once we get all our stems in, put a little bit more moss laid up at the top. All right, so that's in there, just to give you an idea. 
where we're at. Okay. And this little sheet moved a little. That's fine. And this one's actually a bigger sheet too, so I'm gonna move some of that. Feel good about that for right now let's start adding in our greenery next i am going with a lot of high styled long pieces of greenery but my glass dome is not that tall so i'm going to have to make adjustments we are going to take and we're going to slide up the greenery at the bottom base because i need a little bit of stem work so i think what we're going to do now i've had this vintage frog for years and I've never used it. <laughs> I have this weird thing about, I collect a lot of vintage things. If there's something I'm passionate about, I like to collect all of the vintage ones. So I have, or vintage pieces. So I have a whole bunch of frogs, but I also have those like, um, ones with the, the wires at the bottom too, that you put at the bottom of a base of a, like a bowl or something. I've never created with them though. So this is gonna be fun or terrifying and frustrating. I don't know which. I'm hoping for the fun. We'll always aim for fun first. Positive thoughts. Now this one is old rusty metal and there are some parts that have been broken up. We also need to remind or remember that as we like bring this in, like things are gonna move. This is really cool. <laughs> even though it's moving like this is cool so I'm gonna try to focus more in the center because if we focus on the outer edges like things are that's gonna be interesting to try to get it all into the into the dome once we're done so we're just gonna see what happens so I do want this a little bit wild I don't want it necessarily all like just bunched in the center so oh that's a good spot Ooh, I like that there. All right. Okay, let's see. I just, I've got to see. I should have figured out somewhere where my height, like absolute tippy top can be, and then use that as a guide for the rest of this. That is definitely too tall. <laughs> too tall. It's so cute that way though. Should we leave it that way? That way so I'm gonna leave that one there but then I know now like right on that level it's kind of my highest point which is interesting you think it's gonna be so much taller I'm sure it's just like everything else once you get the base going and things kind of in place it starts to come together it's just getting those first few layers things are a little things are a little treacherous at first make it a little bit more difficult once we fill that sucker in with stuff though, we'll be good to go. We've got this little guy and I think we'll get him down, down in there. If I can get that to stand up. So let's pop in something. Pop in a couple of these, see if we can get it to stand up a little bit more. And then we'll start getting in our wood flowers. Feeling there's a pretty big hole on this side over here. Take some lower there, uh, pieces of greenery. You guys need to stay put though. Stop moving and grooving for me, okay? All right. There we go so far. All right. Papal flower in next. She's pretty hefty. She's got herself, she's got a lot of weight to her in terms of even in the dynamics of this piece, not just like the thickness of the stem and things like that. So let's see if this is gonna work. And 
this is all on wire all the way up to the top so we can kind of move and groove and shake up things a little bit as far as where it, it lands. Tip it and curl it. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Okay. That's where we're at. Let's see if I can get that actually even. <laughs> Did I make it too big? Guys, we might, we might have made it too big. It's so stinking pretty. All right, so as I'm looking at this, something needs to go there, something in the middle, and then I think what we're gonna try to do is focus more on the base. We've got a lot on the high spots, so let's focus on the base of this piece, okay? <laughs> I wonder if I like tie like a little piece of twine around it to remind me where my, where I have to keep everything in check. Cause there's a, there's a lot going on. Okay, so I did say something in the middle to kind of anchor everything. So I'm gonna go straight on in. And that's a little too tall. I really wanna sink that in there. So we're gonna have to snip off just a little bit more. There we go. You can't see that very well, but it's there. Just trust me on that one. All right. I've got a couple flowers that have short stems already. So we'll get those in there. The flowers that we've got. Oh, I don't know what that lovely one is called. I do have some Mona Lisa's that are painted to look like anemones. You can actually get these already pre-dyed at ohyourlovely.com. This is Paris Rose, also pre-dyed already for you at ohyourlovely.com. This is... Uh, is it Stella? It's either Stella or Liza. Pretty sure this is Stella, but I'm never right about these things. So look up either Stella or Liza and see which one looks like. It's got sharper petals at the, on the ends and then really pretty um, peony kind of center. Speaking of which, a peony. We've got some hydrangea blooms that are, we painted these, these actually came in our spring box with light blue and yellow centers. We've got a teeny tiny little Sophia and a ranuncula. And I just popped a ranuncula in there as well. So there's all the flowers that we are using today. Some you can already get pre-dyed at ohyourlovely.com. And we're always adding new flower styles in the pre-dyed section as well as assortments. And then the rest, we've got a plethora, I love that word, of tutorials so you can do it on your own. All right, so the blue flowers are the ones I'm gonna stick on the bottom. I got tiny little wires already, so we're just kind of sneaking those in. I'm gonna keep one, I think, and I'll get it wired up and bring it up top a little bit. All right, so let's get some wires in some of these flowers. All right, back to finishing this off. I know that that is gonna turn inward. Let me get the cloak. And for this one, I'm gonna tilt the wire so that it faces outward instead of in the piece. Everybody, cross your fingers and your toes, but not your eyes. Let's see if we can get this all in. There is no happening of having, <laughs> all right, we're gonna adjust some of this stuff. There's no amount of like adding extra moss in there, I don't think. All right, so. As I'm twirling this around, I do want to try to get that to go over that way. 
And then I'm gonna adjust the anemone down here at the bottom. I wanna bring that up just slightly. I actually don't mind. I like how the Italian Ruscus is playing, so, okay. keeping our shape a little bit now as I like kind of snug things in before we actually get our glass case over everything just tucking things in whoops except for you I'm flying out now move up our moss okay all right here we go friends Pretty. Okay, so the only thing I want to bring this in a different direction. This is really fun without the glass dome to do that with with a, one of those vintage frogs. This is a really fun piece. All right, we can get the glass on. Let's see what happens. Dun, da, da, da. There you go, guys. Here is the lovely piece. All done. I'm thinking this might be my favorite part of the piece. This is a ton of fun. It is definitely a challenge. Um, I probably put too much in it. I'm gonna have to work on that. I think we're gonna do another one of these. Either we'll do it right here on YouTube or we'll do it on a Facebook Live. I really wanna try a piece similar to that one right there, this one. I don't know where I'm directing my fingers when I'm on film. One like this, where we've got like a lot of like stuff going up, but of course only like, probably like three blooms. And then some stuff at the bottom. Uh, I wanna give that a try at some point. Um, I think it would be a ton of fun. So, if you've ever played with one of these, let me know, or if this inspired you to try. Um, we might have some other smaller versions up our sleeve, so to speak. Not up our sleeve. I don't know what I'm talking about. But nonetheless, we're gonna be playing with these again in a couple different ways um, in the near future. So if you're loving this, you'll love checking out our blog as well as Facebook and probably right here on YouTube again. All right, guys, oh, let's let's go through all of the YouTube things. If you're loving this channel, can't get enough, want to know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and <coughs> ring that bell. And if you're new around here and want to give the flowers a try, as well as greenery and craft supplies, Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order at ohyourlovely.com. Boy, I feel very rusty. I haven't filmed in a little while. We did a lot of stuff during that photo shoot and I'm getting back into it. I'm feeling rusty, not gonna lie. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you right here next week for another one. Again, my name's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.